life team around. They are the owners of the Diamond Gym in Maplewood, New Jersey. Both are in terrific shape. Uh, uh, John Kemper has been in competitive bodybuilding for 25 years now. His wife joined him just uh, seven years ago. Her name is uh, Shirley. They have three children, and boy, are they built. Here's John and Shirley Kemper, everybody. That's it. How you doing, John? Hi, Shirley. Hi. Come on in. Nice to see you. I just told everybody a little bit about uh, yourselves, and you have your own gym. Parents of three, uh, three children? Yeah. yeah. But he was doing it for about 25 years, I guess. When you met him, he was a young bodybuilder, huh? Yeah. And then uh, you married, and, but just recently you decided to take it up. Why is that, Shirley? Well, I decided to uh, start training because I had, had children, and mm -hmm. I could see that my body was starting to get a little out of shape. And, um, and I wanted to start exercising a little mm -hmm. better. So you went down to see yeah. what the gym was all about, <laughs> huh? Well, I was doing all those hours down Yeah, there. she's a pretty good yeah. student, was she? Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. real good. Tell us about your career as a competitive bodybuilder. You've won a lot of titles in your time, haven't you, John? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, actually, won a Mr. Teenage New Jersey in 1960. Mm -hmm. I, won, I won the uh, Senior New Jersey in 1974. A little uh, gap there. Uh, I won the USA in 1981 and the World Games in 81. Wow, so you stayed in shape all these years. Yeah. I think I've gotten better as I've gotten older. That's what they say, that bodybuilders yeah. have a terrific longevity to yeah. their careers that other athletes don't have. Yeah, I think that's, that's correct. More muscular than ever? More muscular. Uh, now I have more discipline. Mm -hmm. My eating habits are better. Of course, living a stable life at home with the family is good, too. Sure. But they say when you get older that your metabolism slows down, it's easier to gain weight. Is it tougher for you to stay in competitive shape at 40 years of age than it was when you were a young kid? Well, I must admit, today I'm not in my greatest shape at this moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, and I think it's actually easier at this point. Mm. So, aerobics, the freehand exercise, that didn't appeal to you. You decided to lift weights. Yes, I did, because I, I could see, you know, the results that my husband has achieved. And um, we could see that that's the, really the best way to shape your body. But you were never really out conference. of shape that much, were no, you? No, no, I really wasn't overweight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't want to get that way. Yeah. So. I think aware. she's blessed, though. She's really a, almost a natural mesomorph. Mesomorph? Yeah. Is that good? Oh, yeah, it's great. And mesomorph a, is... Um, almost a pure muscular type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she has that she ability to maintain good definition even when she's so-called out of shape. Still, the wear and tear of having three kids can take its toll on a, on yeah. a human body. Oh, mesomorph yeah. or not. <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> well, that's the whole point. You know, the body has no shape without any muscle. That's right. So with muscles, it has shape. Yeah, that is a blessing to be blessed with that latent muscular, that oh, yeah. muscular, yeah. Uh, muscular mature that can pop out after a little uh, exercise. Well, let's take a look to see how you work out, okay? Sure. All right, we have our bench press equipment here and some dumbbells and so on. I'll just move these out of the way. And John, what do you got? You want to go first? Well, unless you want to. No, you, <laughs> <laughs> you do a little bench press first, okay? Okay. Well, what do you usually use in the bench press? Oh, not real, not a lot. I don't think necessarily heavy weights are best. Mm -hmm. I think actually lighter weights are better. This, this feels a little heavy. <laughs> Does it really? Well, then I'll do it. <laughs> no, it feels pretty good. <laughs> We're talking here of a weight that's over 200 pounds. Boy, he's grinding it out nice, isn't he? Good form. I right, don't show off, will you, John? Enough's <laughs> enough. All right, okay. fine. Now, what we'll do is we'll kind of strip this weight and bring it down to what? A hundred and, uh... 135. 135 for squat? Yeah. Okay. okay. And Shirley can uh, squat with. Here, yeah, Shirley, you get ready over there, okay. and we'll kind of pick it up and bring it over. Is this what you usually use, about 135 on your squat? This is, well, basically, this is a warm-up. Become a warm -up? Yes, I what do we usually do? <laughs> because we have more weight here, wise guy. No, I'll, I'll use this. Miss <laughs> Mesomorph. <laughs> All right, let's put it on her shoulders. Okay. She's not going to hit that bench, is she? No. That's good. Okay. This is great for shaping and building muscle in the thigh and hips. Boy, that's terrific. And that's legs. a flat leg squat, Feet too. Flat, yeah. Absolutely. The most difficult kind of uh, squat. What's the main thing, Regis? People think that by lifting weights, you actually get muscle bound. <laughs> uh -huh. But in reality, you're actually more flexible. How and much can you put over your head, Shirley? Well, two and a quarter. I worked up to the two and really? a quarter. Really? Can you put this weight over your head? Oh, no, over my head. I think. No, no, <laughs> no, no, not over my head. That's a squat, squat yeah, yeah, two and a quarter. Yeah. All right, we have some dumbbells over here. Let's see, there's 40 pounds for you. There's 30 pounds for you, okay. and these little teeny weenies for me. <laughs> okay, everybody dig in there. 
some curls. You want to do a few curls? Yeah. Is there a particular routine that you use to develop your arms and your shoulders? Well, usually train shoulders and arms together. They uh -huh. complement each other. What would you do then if you were in the gym right now, in the, in the midst of your routine, John? Um, Show us some of the exercises that you well, would do. Well, I would do alternate curls like this. Curls like this, standing up. Suppidating, turning the wrist up. Mm -hmm. The main thing is concentration, control. Breathe in deep, squeeze it up, and hold it. Now, I'm kind of yeah, impressed that she's using 30 pounds. Make sure you feel the contraction. On these concentrated oh, curls. very strong. It must be a lot of fun, the two of you working out together, right? <laughs> so it's getting a little heavy. <laughs> Do you both work out together down there at the gym? Well, we have, yeah. except uh, I'm beginning to think that at this point, it's not a great idea to have men and women training too much together. Too it's distracting? Gym. Well, not only distracting, but you always have the innuendo of uh, something other than training. Uh-huh. It's becoming a problem. Oh, really? Really? oh, yeah. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. That's too bad, because I well, thought... It is. I thought that that was all going to work out nice. You know, everybody I seems so originally, dedicated. Originally, it was a great idea. Except, yeah. Uh, it's hard to avoid that sort of uh, interaction. Sure. What are your kids? How, how do they feel about you working out? Are they well, into they, it too? They think it's great. Oh, yeah, they love yeah, it. Yeah, they're very supportive. Are they? Here we have some videos yeah. at home where we practice posing, and the littlest one gets right in front and starts flexing her calves. Yeah. You've got 18, 16, and eight year and uh, well, six years a old. Seventeen year old. And an eight year old and an eight year old. All right, time for a little posing. Okay. okay. Sure. Shall we uh, yeah. kind of take off what we have on here? Okay. And uh, I'll, uh, I, I don't feel like it today myself, but I just <laughs> might pop out there and do it. you have your posing suit on? No, I, I oh, don't really okay. don't. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually scared to go to the uh, over 40 universe in Australia in three weeks. Oh, are you really? <laughs> Very good. Huh? You never saw an arm like that in your life. It's <laughs> how <laughs> you've been training. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're going to go into that, huh? Yeah. I represent the USA. Well, that'd be nice if you could win that, right? Oh, yeah, it'd be great. Be an honor. Heavy, heavy training before that contest, right? Yeah. Heavy like dieting. Heavy, heavy <laughs> dieting as well. That yeah. gets a little difficult during You know the what holiday. I find? That <laughs> women have the ability to really pop the definition out of their body, do you know? Yeah. A lot of them are have less... Uh, Skin, men, yeah. and men, yeah. over their muscles. Inner skin. Shirley's all right here. <laughs> Shirley, you're okay. Yeah, Mother of three, look at this. Yeah, great shape. Okay, you guys are in the picture of health. I want you to stand right up in there. Okay. Get your little music. And here's a little posing exhibition by John and Shirley Kemper from New Jersey. him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank God for being with us. It's really good luck to you. you okay, much. terrific couple of We'll be right back with more of our show in a moment. Stay with us. They are tears you have cried.